one. Hi folks and welcome to my first Instagram TV workshop, art workshop. So glad you're having a look at this and I can't wait to see what you produce. But I will say it's going to be ad hoc like me and we're going to try things out. It's We don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to give it a go. And I just want it to be fun as much as anything. All ages, anyone can try. You can do it with your kids, your mum, anybody. Some of my old foundation students, I'd love it if you did it and showed me what you do and have a laugh at my cranky ways. But um, anyway, so today and this week, we're going to launch in with collage. I've decided to go with that because my favourite artist is Matisse, Henry Matisse. And I got this book given to me by my mum from an exhibition. I think it was at the Tate Modern a while ago. And I'm just going to show you some of his beautiful paper cut collages which are just beautiful in every way, the colour, the shapes. So this is what I'm figuring we're going to use as our inspiration this week, as our starting inspiration. Also, I want to say that it is going to be very much 10, 15 minutes with me showing you quick ideas and then you'll take those ideas further with your kids or on your own to produce stuff that we'll then utilise in the next workshop the next day and then you'll go off and do it on your own. So here we go. First of all, I've got a piece of newspaper that I've laid out and I, if you've got kids, obviously cover your whole table in newspaper before you start. And then... Actually, that's next. But first of all, this is my object that I've chosen for colour inspiration because we're going to be painting sheets of paper and I'm going to choose colours from this and this beautiful jug from my Debenhams collection, which I really like and I'm using every day at the moment for flowers. We're going to take colours and shapes from this, but you could choose or have chosen a toy, a book, a postcard, or something that you love or have collected that you like the colours or the pattern of. That could be your starting point. So the next thing is I've collected these. I told you to get some papers and I've basically raided the paper recycling box. And I've got cereal packets, I've got a bit of brown paper, newspaper, wrapping paper's good. Um, but newspaper I like probably the best um, because when you paint it, it gives it a whole new quality and that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to use what we've got, paint it with paint we've got and, and turn it into something new to create something beautiful. Right, so I'm going to take my first bit of newspaper off my pile, prop about A4 size and we're going to choose the darkest colour from our object. So I'm going to go for this green because coincidentally, I have got this green, which is a really good match. It's Farrow and Ball, look. It's a pretty good match. So, got a jar of water, lovely big paintbrush. Off we go, this is the fun bit. That's a bit watery. So you can see it's got orange <laughs> mixed in with it. No, it wasn't meant to be there. What I quite like is the p paper coming through so you can see some of the print. This is rather than using, you know, flat craft papers that you've bought, you're gonna use something new. Might give that another coat, but that's the first color that I've done, and look, I'll hold it up next to the, the jug. It's probably a little bit lighter, but it's not a bad match. So that's my first one. I'm gonna put it down here. I'll put some newspaper on the floor. And actually that's not dark enough for me. We need a tone darker. So I'm gonna do another one now that's a darker green. We're making basically a library of papers that we've created ourselves from all recycled stuff. I love this green, it's my favourite colour. It's called phthalo green. It's acrylic this, but you can use any colours from your object in front of you. And this green is actually part of, I used it when I painted this original lagoon paper. 
So I'm not very good at washing my brushes, but you should now wash your brush in between. I tend to use loads of different brushes and leave them in water and then wash them later. Wipe it clean. I go straight into the acrylic pot because I want it really dark. And I'm putting it on top of the brown paper to see what I get. Another different texture. Don't mind the tears. I love the streakiness. The aim is to create, as I said already, probably repeat myself a hundred times, a library of papers that we're then going to make some collages with tomorrow. Dark green. I think that'll work nicely as a backdrop to these flowers. Put it down on the floor with your other ones. Right, what I'm going to do now, look, I've made a bit of a mess. I'm just going to fold that in half to try and stay clean and um, do another one. Let's try a cereal packet now. Because this is quite red, I'm going to keep the choose a colour similar-ish to it. I'm going to go for this pink on here. I thought I'd already mixed some pink, but no, I haven't. So... I use these a lot, takeaway cartons that I've recycled. I'm going to mix one of the pinks out of this. This is white, obviously. It's got a little bit of mess in it. A bit of white. This is just emulsion, but you can use poster paint, anything. Now, who knows what colours make pink? Does anyone know what I should put in there? You can make that pink virtually with a lot of white and a tiny bit of pink, tiny bit of red. And look, you start to get that lovely pale baby soft pink, bit of water. Mix it up with a nice big brush and then I'm going to paint onto here. Oh, yum yums, like um, strawberry ice cream. So this, look, similar, covering the red. You might see some of the red through it. In actual fact, it's covering it quite well. That white emulsion's really good. Pink. One of the pinks in, well, one of the pinks, close-ish do. We're never going to get exactly there. So I put that down on the floor with my others. And then I'm going to do, a, in actual fact, I've done this one earlier. Look, I've got a darker pink here which I'm going to put down because I did do a few in advance. Um, and now I'm going to do, and actually also got this bit of paper, which I'm not going to even paint because I think it might be good just for collaging. I have it, I think it was from Tiger, red and green. So that's going to go down there. And then I'm going to do one more colour now for you and then you're just going to get on at home and keep going. I'm going to use the other side of this cardboard um, and we're going to do the yellow for that tulip. So I'm literally taking yellow acrylic out of the tub and then mixing it with a bit of white literally on the paper. You can mix them directly on there or in a pot like I did with the pink. I hope this is okay, it might be boring and senseless. <laughs> but I think it'll give you ideas to then go away and play with to make all your papers for tomorrow's session. Is that any good next to those tulips? And finally, another one that I, that's rather nice, that palette. I think it actually, there's another one here I did yesterday which was another sort of limey green taken from some of the colours from the leaves and stem. So I'll put that down. So here you are. Um, there's a good collection there now to start from. 
there's a few more under there that I did yesterday. So if you want to build up your own library now for a little while and then come back tomorrow, we'll have this lovely range of papers to start cutting out shapes from and making some beautiful collage. So I hope that was interesting a bit and that you'll take it further. Tomorrow you will need your papers that are dry, scissors and some glue and also a, a largish piece of white paper. If you haven't got any white paper, I thought you could sellotape loads of bits of copier paper tomorrow, together for tomorrow, or you could paint a big sheet of newspaper white ready for the background to start collaging. Anyway, see you tomorrow. Have loads of fun. Thank you. Bye.